Hello everyone, welcome to part 61 of Let's Play Dark Souls. We're out here praying in the Undead Parish because right here is where uh, Rhea was supposed to be. Um, now, you might remember we rescued her from Tomb of the Giants. Um, and I'm realizing I should have probably come here first <laughs> because um, as you can see, she's dead. Uh, <laughs> let's pick up her stuff. So she's got a lot of humanity, pendant. Uh, and I guess we can read the pendant. I believe it's in here somewhere. Yeah. Simple pendant with no effect. Even so, pleasant memories are crucial to survival on arduous journeys. So, yeah. Rhea was holding this. Um, this is actually one of the items you can pick as your starting thing. Just as sort of like a... I don't know if a joke is the right word, but <laughs> it, it doesn't do anything. Um, as you can see, this item is, drop, is uh, crossed out. So, uh, she's dead. Um, and the, let's go confront the one who killed her. Who... I think I've alluded to it is. Um, you might be able to suspect... We'll try to see if we can enact some justice. So on the way down, um, I did check. I, I do have the peculiar doll, which means I uh, did visit the asylum at the very least. Um, and I'm, I'm going to trust myself that if I went to the asylum, I killed the asylum demon. Um, I'll probably still like triple, triple check before ending the series just to make sure I find the video footage. Um, yeah, I'm going to assume that's taken care of. If you guys are watching this, this series, uh, you probably saw that fairly recently. I don't know how long ago it happened in episode-wise. But anyway, let's talk to Petrus here. Uh, oh, you again? Me? Uh, I've become separated from my lady. I've scoured near and far, but no sight of her. Where could she have gone? My lady, to think I swore to protect you with my life. Yeah, so he's definitely looking kind of nervous. Um, anything else? Your Highness, where have you gone? I am entirely to blame for this. Oh, woe is me. I am unworthy. Deathly so. Hmm. Are you sure? Then, lady, what terrifying news. What am I to do? All because of my shortcomings. It is my fault. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, those are some real crocodile tears, if I ever saw them. Oh, I'm sorry. Miracles, was it? I'm distracted by grief. Pay me no mind. He's back to normal, and just like that, he's already over his grief. Back to normal, just selling miracles, yada yada. So, um, now... If this were a you know actual courtroom, you know we'd probably factor in that she was just hanging out in a church filled with hollows. However, this is uh, the court of Dark Souls, and we will act and act justice very swiftly. And I believe we did this last time in order to prevent her death in the first place. Oh, you wish you had the wrath of the gods miracle. Oh, swing this, Mr. Tip. Get out of here. Yeah, we are just really slugging it out with him. Ah, hi. Yeah, see, that's that ain't Wrath of the Gods. That's just emit force. Come on, do it again. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that'll hurt, though. And, oh, good block. Good block, but let's just smash him down. No. This can't be. It can't. Like this. Oh, but it has. So, um, I would bow, but he is one of the slimiest characters in the game, if you ask me. Now, I think, uh, if I were smarter with, like, dialogues and stuff, you could, like, somehow get, like, the Oscar the Confessioner or someone to somehow, like, actually get the evidence <laughs> that he did it, but yeah, I I'm not familiar with all that, and, um, I just know he did it. <laughs> There's a lot of lore videos out there that go deep into it further but either way as you saw Rhea was dead and uh yeah so a little bit of humanity his talisman oh ivory that's <clears throat> that is the proof right there that ivory talisman is normally on Rhea so the fact that he has it is pretty pretty guilty if you ask me so anyway that's that um nice little intro mystery CIA murder plot not CIA um it's like true crime that's that's the thing all the white girls are obsessed with <laughs> Dark Souls, so with that out of the way, 
our uh, next stop is the Duke's Archives. So, if we go ahead and warp to Inorlando, I believe it'll still take us to that bonfire, and then we can make our way in. Um, I'm gonna try to do this quickly. I'm gonna showcase the uh, the skip you can do, the shortcut skip. I don't know what you want to call it. And I'm gonna sort of wing it and just get backwards because the thing is, like, you can do this skip that I'm gonna show, and then. Uh, you can make your way to the actual boss fight pretty quickly, but uh, the thing is, we want to, uh, we want to rescue Big Hat Logan. So therefore, we are gonna have to make our way all the way back down to the jail cell area, whether we like it or not. But I still think it'll save us time because, off the top of my head, I think by doing the shortcut, we'll be able to. Uh, <coughs> um, get the key we need first that way we just head straight there instead of having to go back and forth like four times uh so this guy's still here guarding the door should probably still try to fight him okay toro toro ole oh ow okay oh let's just get behind him get heal off oh oh it's gonna take a while these guys are armored i think uh Blunt weapons are going to do you best here. In fact, blunt weapons are what you're going to want to use throughout the entire place. Um, pretty sure I mentioned that. That all the like crystalline stuff, uh, think of it like glass. It's uh, very brittle, therefore, just give it like, a good punk, something you want, and you'll break it. There's crystal golems and the crystal hollows. Um, I don't know if the channelers are necessarily weaker to blunt damage, but they're pretty weak in general. Uh, in terms of smacking them, <laughs> not not offense. They're, they're glass cannons, which again is a pretty fitting term with all the crystals. So anyway, we are nearly in. Um, it's another board. Which it's probably gonna take just as long to beat. Oh, and off he goes. Okay. Maybe get a little more. Aggressive here this time. Shouldn't take as long. Yeah, there's nice um, in general in Dark Souls. What you just saw there is a good way to fight big bosses where um, you want to head, not necessarily hit, but like be in a spot where they'll move you with their own animation, but you won't get hit by one of their actual like damage points. Uh, you know, like he just swung there, but his leg pushed me to the side as opposed to his horn. It's uh, the Fangbor helm. I think I already have one of those. Um, if not, I will put it on real quick. Surely I've gotten one of those already, though. Nope. I don't know if it's guaranteed. I feel like it is guaranteed if you don't get one in... Yeah, see, I already have one. So, I already wear that. I'm not going to put it on again. <laughs> so let's rest the bonfire here, because if we die, then we are going all the way back to Orlando, which would not be great. How much we need? 87,000 souls. Ooh. Well, we're getting there. We're getting there. Let's pull this, make our way up. And here we are. So, yeah, uh, get out of the line of the fire of the arrow and the channel. Oh, wow. Well. There's one hiding in the corner there. And these guys hit quite hard, especially in New Game Plus, so not underestimate. They might just look like hollows, but they got those broken crystal weapons. There we go. Okay, that guy there we're going to take out as well, because we are going to be doing the DLC. Because there are bosses there. God for those iframes. Oh yeah, okay. These ones are powered up, so let's, let's take care of him first. That's when they get really like nutty, br uh, dangerous. Okay. Now, let's see how long this takes. It won't take too long. Yeah, one of these guys isn't too bad. It's pretty manageable. Oh, okay. That could have ended very badly. <laughs> I got hit with the magic bolt and almost got hit by this guy. Alright, now this is actually getting a little sketchy. Let's heal, as always, running back. Get your health up. 
Okay, still got me. And we got him. Alright, nice. Got a lot of Estus because of Firelink Trend. Um, oh, shoot. I think I was supposed to go to the Hydra first. <laughs> a little cut and paste here. Okay, and we're back. Fighting the Hydra. Same fight as last time. Just sort of stand here. Oh, I've got to kill this guy. Thank goodness I just blocked there. Okay. Oh, nice. The bites actually hit it too. Very nice. Yeah, I was using his water bolts to pick off the other ones. Just like last time. Okay. Yeah, those are... That's the dangerous thing. You start shooting those even though you're close. It's a pretty straightforward fight <clears throat> once you know what to do, but it is very intimidating. Oh, still got me. Thankfully, you still got plenty of Estus. Okay, just gotta find those sweet spots to stand. It's always the last head is when things get really annoying. Two heads left. This is the annoying one because he'll go into the wall. Oh, and he's gone. <laughs> and then there was one. Oh no, there's two. Hey, hey, nope. And then you go. And none of that. Okay, and now there's really only one left. Where does this one go? That's a little close to the edge. <laughs> I'm doing real uh, Okay. Come on. Uh, I think I'm perfectly safe here, though. So I'm going to take this moment to equip a bow. And this is. He's super chill right now. Okay, compo plus 15, and some arrows will help. Bolts. Uh, there's the arrows. Okay, I already have them equipped. Uh, just like so. This. There we go. All right, we can finish them off like this, because I have come too far to fall in the water again. <laughs> I died a few times like that last time we fought him. And there's really no need to do it. Just pick them with some arrows. And just like that, the beast has fallen. <laughs> G, G, well played. Okay, so we did all that because we need, oh, and I forgot to have my timer running. <laughs> so I don't know, I think that took maybe like two or three minutes to, um, to fight him there, so no big deal. All right, so that's these things now. I think I need to quit and reload. I'm gonna do that just in case. Order for the uh, desk to actually spawn. Oh, and here we go. This is a good chance to show you. Look, I'm not lying when I say the servers aren't working. Um, see, look, cannot log in because they are stopped or undergoing maintenance. And it was doing this last week. So um, uh, this is a really long maintenance or something bad happened <laughs> to the servers. I should actually look into that. I'm sure there's like maybe an announcement or something about this. That I can find somewhere. But either way, let us go rescue Dusk. That way we can get her pendant in the Duke's archives. And this whole episode, I thought we were going to be making such good progress in the archives today. We have managed to only get the bonfire. Also, this is prep work for the actual DLC. Mm -hmm. This is one no longer walks in the game in my opinion. There it is. Okay. Let's go give her a rescue. And then we'll be in good shape. I'm not I'm I'm gonna skip most of her dialogue. Like we know the story of the DLC. That's what we did in the first playthrough. 
Get all that lore. Oh, what an uppercut. I believe these gold golems are a little faster than the usual ones. And tougher, maybe even bigger. They're certainly uh, stronger in some ways. Okay, that was just a bad roll on my part. Yeah, that animation just looks way faster. The crystals come out and break faster, too. Oh, a good stagger, good stagger. Ah, he swung right over me. There we go. And out pops Dusk. Okay. So, is thou yes, it is me. Yeah, 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 yes, yes. I am Dusk. Uh, I think I say yes. <laughs> I probably should have listened. Right, she seems happy, so I think that was the right choice. And off she goes. Very well. Alright. Now that we did that, I will... Um, actually, what I'll do is... Homeward Bone, because I have enough for level up. I'm going to do that on camera. And then we're going to head back to the Duke's Archives. So, I mean, leveling up is pretty straightforward at this point. I'm just giving my faith higher. 118, we are seven levels away. I think that's within reasonableness. I'm assuming we'll be able to get, like, one level per boss, and that'll only leave, like, one or two per champ for enough... Uh, for maybe having to grind out at the end, uh, but we'll see. We'll see. Don't don't want to make any promises I can't keep, kind of thing. Uh, but anyway, let's warp to Anorlando. I will go ahead and quickly cut back to the bonfire that's in the Duke's archives. And if we're lucky, the pendant will be there because we already killed the guy. So I will see you there. Okay, here we are. Um, I'll cut back now. We'll, we'll take the elevator up together. All right, so that wasn't too much of a detour, was it? Uh, <laughs> Snuck a little bit of a Hydra boss in there. This is definitely a bit of a scatterbrained episode, like I said. So, back up here. Uh, these guys are. Ah, oh, the golem's back. Oh, oh! Dang it. It's these jump attacks that get me, like, they don't look like they should be that agile. <laughs> and that guy's aim is really bad. Probably should have made a pit stop at Firelink. Get some more Estus, but. What can you do? Right, so before we get the crystal's attention now, we will fight these guys first. Ooh. Let's fall back a bit. Heal up. Oh my god. That's why this is now a repost <laughs> after shield break. Okay. Um, whoa. Okay, that was very close. Let's take this guy out. Let's actually lower him down here. Get a little bit more space. Oh, and there's another crystal that got aggroed. Alright, let's, let's take that guy out first because this is. For not doing anything there. Okay. So we beat the gold one earlier, so we can definitely take this guy out. In fact, we also beat this guy earlier, so no reason to doubt ourselves again. No. There we go. There it is. Okay, so <laughs> I was worried something was broken, but yeah, it, was, it would just be able to kill, kill the Hydra first. So, um, actually, not just the Hydra, but to clarify, we do have to rescue. Uh, what's her face? That's the actual requirement. I think to teleport now, but there's no escape for me. Oh, and she escaped. <laughs> I know there's like certain teleporters that you can um, you can hit them as they're in their teleporting animation, but I guess that's not one of them. That's right, we have the Trident Pendant, don't we? I'm pretty sure I picked that up in the depths. Which is uh, very cool. Um, unfortunately, there's no call-up to be done. <laughs> I'm going to showcase it. A little dance. I'm pretty sure I showed the dancing animation, but the actual power-up effect is going to have to wait. OK, 
Okay, a little bit of Neo Matrix dodge. Oh, we got both of them. Nice. And he can't hit me. Whoa, that hurt. And there's more archers. Oh my god. I remember, those channelers in the Duke's archives, they uh, do respawn. So, don't think you can just clear them out and then rest the bonfire. Otherwise, you're going to be doing everything again. Okay. So, um. That balcony over there. I don't remember what that's for. What we want to do is essentially. Oh, okay. Now, this shortcut, I just realized, could be a little difficult to do. I think, like, you gotta. I think it's like. If you jump. You gotta somehow jump over the gate, but the problem is the gate closes. Oh, wait a minute. I don't actually know how to do this. Oh, wait. <laughs> um, how does this work? Give me one second, guys. I'm going to look up how to do this. Okay, and we're back. Uh, so I just looked up a video of how to do this. Um, this might take a few tries, but the theory makes sense. Essentially, what you need to do is immediately from here, jump right there. Oh, okay, okay. This doesn't look good. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so, um, the good news is that um, you don't have to kill everyone again. You can sort of just run past them, which is what I'm going to try to do next. Um, but I'm telling you, once I get it, it's going to be awesome. Okay, is this... Oh, great. Tell you what, I'm going to cut to the actual attempts here. <laughs> you don't have to see me do this every time. Okay, beautiful. Oh! No, no! It's not fair! <laughs> I'm so close! Is there anything I can do? Oh, this is interesting. Oh, oh my god. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No! <laughs> okay. Okay. That's the closest I got so far, though. We're making progress. We're going to be there soon. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh my god, we did it. We did it. And can I still get my souls? I can. Oh my god. We did it, guys. Let's make sure we're not in the line of fire here. Let's get my clothes back on. <laughs> you know what? No, no, there's no time. Let's, let's end the episode on a good note like that. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that was a fun sequence for you guys. That was uh, starting to get out of hand. I was worried this was going to become a long night, but I think I can definitely bang out the Duke's archives. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, I'll see you in the next part. So long.